wouldn't it be nice if everything in life were 100% reliable? I mean, your car, your computer, your flaky girlfriend who swears there's no one else in the picture. Unfortunately, few things are truly reliable, and that includes the websites that you count on to be around when you need them, even those sometimes go down. But Riley, don't most big sites live on powerful geo-replicated servers dedicated to web hosting? How does this happen? Well, there are plenty of reasons. A simple but common issue is that some websites aren't actually set up to deal with tons of traffic. You see, just like your home PC and internet connection, a web hosting server only has so much bandwidth on its incoming connection, and also only has so much processing power to handle all of those requests. So if a smaller website isn't equipped for a sudden influx of visitors because some celebrity's compromising photos got posted there, you might have a hard time accessing it. And you also might want to think about your life choices. A similar, but more malicious, cause of website difficulties is the dreaded DDoS attack. So the idea here is to do what we just described. Overwhelm a server with requests, rendering it effectively inaccessible. Except, it's on purpose. The first D in DDoS stands for distributed, meaning many connected devices, some of which may be part of a botnet, attack a server at once. The motivations behind these types of attacks vary greatly. As wise old Alfred put it, some men just want to watch the world burn. And you can learn more about them right up here. But a server being too busy to handle requests is just one reason it can go down. Sometimes there can be problems with the hosting service itself, which can be caused by anything from a hardware or software problem, to a malware attack, to even a natural disaster. And that's where things really hit the fan. Because if one of the web's major hosting providers is affected, the outages can be widespread. For example, Cloudflare handles hosting for a billion IP addresses and 10% of the Fortune 1000. So a problem with a service like that can cause outages or slowdowns all over the internet, as it did on July 2nd, 2019, when a ton of sites went down due to a huge spike in CPU usage. Another common issue is a problem with the site's address. Sometimes a website will need to change its IP address, which you can learn more about up here. So trying to punch in the domain name that you're used to will result in the browser being pointed to the wrong IP address, and likely a page not found error until the domain name system, or DNS, gets updated to reflect the new address. Other kinds of simple user errors are surprisingly common. A system administrator can forget to renew the domain name, leave a cable unplugged, misconfigure ports, neglect to set up backups, and even just spill their Diet Coke onto a server rack, you klutz. And finally, sometimes the issue doesn't stem from a problem at all. Sites need maintenance to update code or hardware, and oftentimes they have to be taken offline for a short while while this happens. Now, many organizations have plans for this to minimize downtime, such as performing maintenance at times when they're not expecting much traffic, and larger companies like Google can serve users from an alternate location if one of their other servers needs to be worked on. However, if an error occurs during an update, downtime can last much longer than expected. And a final tip is that if you can't access a website, but you're not sure whether the site is actually down or not, there's a great site called downforeveryoneorjustme.com that you can use to check in on all the most important hotspots on the web. Speaking of checking in, you're gonna wanna check out today's sponsor, Drop. They're collaborating with Sennheiser on the PC37X gaming headset. It's got an open back design with the same driver design used in the HD598 and HD6000 headphones to get clear audio for gaming and music. Its mic is optimized to handle unpleasant pops and hisses and also features noise canceling. The mic also automatically mutes by simply rotating it up until you hear the click. It comes with a 10 foot braided cable and you can get it today and get a $20 off perk at the link below. Well, that's it for this Tech Quickie, guys. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. If you wanna see more stuff, check out our other videos. And comment below with video suggestions if you have ideas for what we, the heck we could do next. And don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie and follow Tech Quickie. And, and me, and, and David, and <laughs> I mean, anyone you want, really.